themselves might be all the rage for improving cell phone reception inside your home. Why wouldn't AT&T be excited about charging 100 or 150 bucks for a box to improve your cell phone reception from AT&T, especially since it uses <laughs> your, your internet, internet access. access. <laughs> See what they did there? Oh, Isn't that so hilarious? Clever. How you're paying twice to get your own cell phone coverage? Oh, the upside. Isn't that hilarious? Oh, Aren't you laughing? Bitter much? Because I'm laughing. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be running across the room in a section. The FemtoCell does deliver better reception for you, and it takes a load off their towers, and you paid for it. Rumor has it Sprint just got theirs through the FCC, and I'm pretty sure we're going to end up with one stuffed in the dark corner of our office. The FemtoCells, which are basically a base station that does connect to your cell phone and connect your cell phone to the internet, are not so useful. It's breathe. Breathe. Inhale. <laughs> Breathe. Okay. They're not so useful in the car, which entered Wilson Electronics Sleek. This is an amplifier booster for your cell phone. I've shown off Wilson Electronics products in the past. They're what I've used to get a signal when I'm in the wide open spaces where cell phone cover gets extraordinarily thin. They also help out in San Francisco where cell phone coverage can get extraordinarily thin depending on what block you're on or what part of your office building you're in or your office or side of your cubicle. I had a couple 300 tied up in the big one that I had in my truck and still have. The Sleek here though costs $99. It runs off a cigar lighter socket. Let me Basically, you screw the antenna into the base station, the sleek base station. The magnetic antenna goes on the roof, and you plug the power supply into your cigarette lighter or cigar socket or 12-volt power source, which is, I think, what they're calling them now. And uh, this is my little portable 12-volt power source. So this is not part of the sleek, I should point out. <laughs> this is decidedly not, not sleek. So this is on the roof of your car. This is basically, it's an adjustable cradle, so they've got two different sets of arms, so you can adjust them in and out. Uh, it's not the best for the smallest cell phones, but I'm going to widen it up so we can drop it in there. And it's got a little padded base and space to put a charger through. Now, we were getting like zero to one bar before, but I went from zero bars to five bars using the Wilson Sleek. Now, obviously, this isn't the normal test environment, although, as I've pointed out, I was using this to make phone calls in my car. I've used it to make phone calls in my cubicle where my cell phone barely works. You've heard me like, wait, oh, hold no, on. Oh, no, the Revision the 3 offices are notorious for not getting cell phones reception so it's, I'm not surprised that this comes in handy. Oh well, it's a reinforced concrete building and mm -hmm. there's like quarter inch steel plate in the floors. It used to be a cannery with giant equipment. We're in a Faraday cage essentially. Yeah. Um, so look trouble with your wireless modem you can actually try laying the sleek on top of the wireless modem to help boost the signal. It'll run off the USB ports in your machine because it literally runs off of a regular now this is a one-time payment, right? You're not paying for yeah. any kind of recurring? You buy it recurring. once, okay. you're done. Great, see, now that I can get behind. So, you like that A thought. little bit. Well, if you're traveling around in your car, you're, it's, it's kind of granted that you're going to run into some splotchy areas, you know, yeah. in terms of coverage. I'm not a fan of having to buy one of those things for my home. <laughs> yeah, that gets not pretty okay. frustrating. Not cool. Well, it's going to be interesting to see. Obviously, you know, cell phone, we've, we've said it before, we're again, cell phone reception is a nightmare here in San Francisco. Um, Wilson Electronics, they make products that work. I've been using them for years. The sleek works. I like holding the sleek up. It amuses me to say sleek. But if there's no signal, there's no signal. This will give you the best of what's available wherever you are. And if you have a signal, it'll help eliminate dropped calls and credit reception. It certainly helped a lot with me wandering around in my car in the sort of dark section of San Francisco. It's got a much smaller clean cleaner footprint than earlier Wilson Electronics booster gear, which usually had like the main booster amp was here, and you had the antenna connection, and you had power. It was just kind of complicated. And it's designed, engineered, and built in the United States, which I like because it keeps the money in the United States. So what are the downsides? Okay, if you're Nextel IDEN, this will not work for you. Also, it will not work for overseas GSM. So if you are hoping to get better connection overseas, this is not going to help you. It is not the best with small phones because they can kind of slide out of here. The little arms need a little more adjustment as you slide them in and out. If you have a candy bar phone, this is going to drive you insane or you're going to be resorting to duct tape. It's tough to use while using a GPS adapter because you can't really have this and a GPS adapter connected to your phone at the same time. And don't forget, of course, to bring your Bluetooth audio adapter unless you actually think the police are not going to arrest you for wandering around with your cell phone in your car held up <laughs> like this. And uh, by the way... It makes it a little more conspicuous. Yes. A little bit. <laughs> well, yeah, it's oh, illegal to bit. use your cell phone in a car without a hands-free adapter in California. Ask me how I know. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I, thumbs up? I also spent a lot of time in San Francisco where... where 
where the connectivity varies from meter to meter to block to block. And I also spent a lot of time in the middle of nowhere. And this actually, I've, I've used uh, the boosters for years, and I like them. Don't some carriers, though, claim that boosters like this can stomp on other users? Yes, they do. And as a matter of fact, um, it's really interesting. I, I talked to Wilson Electronics about this. Obviously, Wilson Electronics is pro boosters. It's, it's what they do. But they pointed out that the, there was this large document, and basically cell phone carriers want to ban the use of, of <gasps> femto cells that aren't sold by cell Ew, phone carriers awkward. and boosters, right? So basically they want you to buy their stuff directly from them. From what Wilson says is there are a couple of boosters out there that, that didn't work the way they were supposed to. Wilson claims that theirs is not going to, basically, they list, they, they communicate properly with the cell tower and they're not going to stomp on other people's communications, dot, dot, dot. And if anyone has a problem at any of the major carriers, they can call Wilson and they will work with their engineers to solve it because one of the things that Wilson's pointed out is certain vendors, certain cell phone carriers have refuse to let their engineers talk to Wilson to verify or sort out problems if they actually exist. I'm so surprised. Mm. You see the surprise on my face. Man, I'm like a bag full of hate today. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not that hate-filled. You're, just, you're little, just looking forward to packing for Japan. Yeah, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. <laughs>